Welcome everyone. Happy Chinese New Year. In honor of the New Year, I have decided to make a Chinese zodiac series of dolls. And what better to start with than this year's zodiac, the pig? I also will be doing this with another doll artist. She's a friend of mine, and she'll be posting her videos on my channel. Now I had many different ideas on how to do the pig, and I decided I would base my doll on the wild Chinese boar instead of the traditional pink pig. Since I chose a young doll for the pig, I decided to color her like the young wild boar, who have stripes and spots. Now, I will be using this Ginny Weasley doll. I plan on sculpting a pig nose, so the tip of her nose has got to go. Bye bye. I mix two part epoxy sculpt and begin shaping the snout. I squish and pull it over the existing nose. Using water occasionally to smooth, especially to blend it to the skin. I do the same for the ears. Shaping them by pressing my finger into the epoxy. The epoxy sculpt is a lot harder to work with than polymer clay because polymer clay doesn't, it's not as dry, it doesn't crack so much when you're using it. Or maybe mine just turned out to be kind of dry. I don't know. It is expensive though, I'll tell you that. I'm sorry, some of the footage got deleted like when I was painting her proud, so don't have it. After she's painted brown, I start to dry brush lightly dabbing and brushing with small amounts of paint to bring out the right colors. Not too subtle, not too strong. After I'm done with that, I begin to dry brush on some of the stripes with a dark brown. I come back in with a light yellow and I start to put on dark brown stripes. Then I paint her hooves black with acrylic paint. Then I seal the paint with a gloss and water mixture. I try to make an even coat and cover the whole body. Be careful though because the gloss makes the acrylic paint wet and it gets a little smeary. Next I take soft pastels. I rub them in carefully, doing it layer by layer. Then I seal it in with Mr. Super Clear. I attempted to draw a face with watercolor pencils, but that didn't work. The uh, acrylic paint that I painted on the body kind of wanted to chip, and I also didn't really want to draw on it, even with. Mr. Super Clear, so I just decided to do acrylic paint. I mix white acrylic paint with a little bit of water and begin to paint the eye shape. After the whites are done, I proceed with a medium green. 
to form the irises of the eye. Then I come in with a dark green to do the pupils and to do the shading on the top of the eyes. Then I come in with a light green to paint on the bottom of the iris to make it look like it can shine, like it's reflecting light. Then I put diluted black for more shading. Then I do the eyebrows. One of the hardest parts. I very carefully went back and forth, trying not to mess it up. Another thing with the eyebrows is they're very important expression features, so if you don't get the eyebrows right, you won't get the expression right, and it will turn out all wrong. Luckily, I got these semi-okay. I would have preferred her to have more of an attitude, but it's not bad. I I'm happy with it. Although they do look a little cave badish, but that that's okay. She's, she's a wild boar. She's all rough and tough, I guess. Time for the eye shines. Dot. Dot. Now that the face is done, it's time to sew. This shirt I found will make a nice underdress. I pin the pattern down and proceed to cut it out on the fold. I start to cut out two more facing opposite ways. And cut extra for Velcro or however I choose to sew the back up. Then I start sewing, leading the fabric to the edge of the foot. I decide to make a cinch up at the back. I use one half of the thread to zigzag all the way up to the top and the other half I will proceed in the same way, going opposite, to make a crisscross. Using a very similar pattern, I make the outer dress. I sew ribbon to the edges, to keep it from fraying and to add a beautiful design to the fabric. After the pieces are cut out and all the ribbon sewed on, to make it look like brocade, I proceed to paint gold paint upon the fabric. I do grass-like designs and other Chinese things that I have seen in brocade, trying to mimic the fabric. It takes a long time, and a lot of pain. It turned out okay though. Then I sew it together. Next is the hairstyling. I leave two strands of hair in the front on both sides in front of the ears. Then I tie a ponytail on the top of her head. Then I fold it over into a bun and put another rubber band on top to keep it in place.
I put the outer dress over the under dress and proceed to wrap the ribbon around the waist. Then I tie with a small pink ribbon to keep it in place. I found these cute charms and thought they would make good earrings for her. Next, I make the hair pieces. I proceed by taking two toothpicks and painting them with acrylic gold paint. I put super glue on the end and then stick two beads on. Then I glue a string inside of the beads. Then I string beads on the end of the string. Then I tie a knot to keep them on. Then in the hair they go. Then to hide the rubber band, I take some of the packaging wire and I put beads on it. Then after they're strung, I sew a flower onto it. Then she's ready. I was going to do a different outfit for her, but I decided since it's Chinese New Year and she's the zodiac of the year, she should dress up all pretty and stuff. I'll make her a different outfit later. Thank you for watching and have a good new year. Bye!